Hi, my name is Grace Quigley, and I am an academic coach at the Dennis Learning Center. So with midterm season fast approaching or already here for some of you, it's time to start really figuring out how to approach our exams. So in this video, we're going to be discussing one of our top recommended strategies, the five day study plan. So before we really jump into the structure of the five day study plan, it's important to discuss and understand the idea of distributed practice. So distributed practice is a learning strategy where practice is broken up into multiple small sessions over a long period of time. The opposite of that would be like mass practice where you are studying for long periods of time um, in a short number of days and it's generally a less effective method of studying or learning. So the five day study plan will be built off of the concept or strategy of distributed practice. So this is the blank template for the five day study plan. The first step that you want to do is actually plan out what you're going to be doing during these five days. So as you can see on the left hand side column, we have the day, so indicating which day this is going to be taking place on, an elaborate section, an estimated time stretch section, and a specific preparation strategy section. On day two, we have the same exact headers, except now we also have review, estimated time for review, and specific review strategies. Let's first just go over the initial elaborate estimated time and specific preparation strategies. Your first step is just identifying specifically which days you're going to be studying five days before your exam. You want to start out by identifying which topics you're going to be studying on each day. To do this, you want to write down all the topics or sections or chapters that you know are going to be on the exam and rank them from least difficult to most difficult. This way, you have a ranking system of where you want to start. You always want to start out with your most difficult topic and move down from there so that you have the most amount of time to study that more difficult topic and review and uh, provide clarification on it. In the elaborate section, you're going to write down exactly what topics you're going to be covering. During the estimated time section, you're going to be writing down the when. When exactly will you be doing this? 2 to 4 p.m.? 1 to 3 p.m.? What time do you have available on that day to dedicate towards studying? And finally, we have the specific preparation strategies. So what strategies are you going to be enabling or enacting on in order to study this content? We'll take a look at a more specific example now. So this is an example of a five day study plan for a math exam. As we said earlier, the first step is just identifying which days they're going to be studying on. So this exam most likely was on September 6th. So they started out five full days before their exam. So they studied September 1st through September 5th. And as we talked about, they identified which section they're going to be studying on each day. So section 3.1 to 3.3, 3.4 to 3.6, all the way down to 3.1 to 4.2. Using the method that we talked about, 3.1 to 3.3 would be their most difficult topic. And 3.1 to 4.2 would be their most, um, their easiest topic or their final review day. Again, they had their estimated time. So on no, uh, September 1st from 2 to 4 p.m., they're going to be studying and they had their specific preparation strategies. So the examples here would be doing practice problems for each section, maybe from the textbook or from online resources such as the MSLC or doing old homework assignments. So they identified specifically what preparation strategies they'll be doing. They continue to follow the same structure of elaborate estimated time and specific preparation strategies for each day all the way up until their final review day on the last day. So heading back now to our original template You'll see that starting day two, we have a new section, right? The review, estimated time, and specific review strategies. This is a little bit of where that distributed practice comes into play. It's really important to review the next day for a set amount of time the content that you studied the day before. You don't want to just study one day and then not look or touch that content again until the actual exam. It's important to reconsolidate that information on a daily basis. Not only are we going to be providing um, identification of what we're going to be studying new, we're also going to be identifying exactly how we will be studying for the information that we studied the day before. So again, let's take another look at the math example for some specific examples or strategies. So now that we're back at the, the math example, um, you can see on day two there again is this review section, right? So they identified what section they're going to be reviewing, which is the one they did before, 3.1 to 3.3. The estimated time, as you can tell, this is a 30 minute interval rather than a one and a half or two hour interval. And they identified the specific review strategies that they're going to be using. So they're going to go over any missed practice problems that they did not get correct the first go around. This is a great um, strategy, strategy as review to not only look at the ones that you got correct, 
but also the ones you got incorrect and understanding what the correct answer is and why you got it wrong in the first place. So that is the general structure of the five day study plan. We hope that you'll give it a try when it comes time for you to start preparing for your exams. And remember, you can always adjust it to be longer or shorter, depending on the volume of content you need to review. If this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more from us at the DLC. Thanks for watching. Bye.